the Davis glorious day here and it's been a glorious start to the season for the Chiefs so far. Four from four and uh, you're sitting pretty. Yeah, I think um, if you look at the scoreboard, yeah, those four wins, the uh, first time the club's achieved. I think it's the first time we've achieved the first two, let alone first four. So uh, that's a positive in that regard. But I think uh, internally we're still conscious of pushing pushing our game a bit and, and playing to a bit, bit higher standard than what we're capable of. Um, we've had patches of good rugby over the first month of the Premiership, but uh, I think we can still be a lot better. So that's the, that's the motivation. A frightening, that is, a little bit for proposition when you say you can be better, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think, um, you know, we're comfortable scoring scoring points and we like to play with the ball in hand and try and chase those bonus points and put teams under pressure that regard. But uh, probably it's probably our defence that's let us down a little bit in the first couple of weeks. A few uncharacteristic uh, errors defensively have leaked some easy points. So that's that's probably the area we need to really push forward as well as still being willing to move the ball. So um, it's good focus uh, for us this weekend uh, moving into Worcester and hopefully uh, if we can lift that intensity a little bit in defence, that'll, that'll obviously create some more opportunities for us. Those two away wins though, Newcastle and Wasps, both sides that were in the top four last year, that must say a lot and give you plenty of confidence moving forward. Yeah, look, you always get confidence from winning away, um, particularly when things didn't go as well as you'd like. You know, we were under a lot of pressure last Friday in Newcastle, uh, but we, we managed to get out of it through um, going back to what we do well. You know, a few good scrum penalties, a couple of more, more tries as well. So um, it's nice knowing that you can be yeah, away from home under pressure, but still stick to what you're good at and, and get the results. So um, like I said, we'll, we'll keep sticking to those sort of things that we do well, but also trying to improve in our, other areas, particularly defensively. Here at home, though, you always fancy yourselves, but the last side to win here in the Premiership were Worcester, and you've got them this weekend. They come here on the back of a very good win at Leicester themselves. Yeah, they, you know, obviously every team in this competition now is tough. Um, you know, I think the days are gone where you talk about Worcester, you know, relegation, whatever. They, they obviously got their own motivations to push up the ladder and, and stay in the Premiership, and they're showing that the way they've played. A couple of losing bonus points as well, so they've had a, a pretty good start to the Premiership. And, um, like you said, history shows that last time they came down here they knocked us off. So um, it has been mentioned, but also, again, back to us and how we can improve this week. I think if we can go out and perform to a level that we're capable of, the, the result will look after itself. You've been here a few years now. Is the Premiership getting tougher? Yeah, I think I, I just think uh, we, we need to keep pushing forward as a club because it shows that all the other teams are looking to get better and that, that's a real healthy competition to be in. Um, like I said, the relegation sort of now is it can be anyone in, in the sense that there's probably teams that uh, it will be battling out at the end of the year because every team's highly competitive. You've seen Bristol had a good start as well, so that makes sure every week, every round is going to be tough in the Premiership. And um, you know, teams are learning, teams are evolving, and yeah, you know, I definitely think since that first season, it, it's as a whole it, the standard and the, the competition each week is a lot higher. Coaches have talked about you and, and people like Shorty and ever, uh, lots of players coming back, Campo, Oli De Devoto, coming back like new players, you know, the new signings for the club. You're desperate for rugby again, you know, you, you missed a fair chunk last year. Yeah, look, it, uh, I, I can't complain about my first season. I, you know, I was obviously involved in that, the Premiership team, which is very special, but last year was, you know, it was a tough year, but it's part of playing the game. I've been, obviously, around long enough to know that these things happen, and I think I only managed 12 games last season, so... Um, it's good in the sense that you're not bashing yourself every week, but you want to be out there and, and playing. And um, I feel as I've put myself in a position after my surgery in June to to uh, have a good long year, and that, that's the key. There's a lot of rugby ahead, um, and physically I feel good, so I've just got to keep pushing forward now. And you come into this much vaunted Exeter Chiefs pack. People talk about it. Everyone knows what's coming from. How do you stop them? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> giving away the trade secrets. Uh, look, I, I think like I said earlier, we 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 like to have a couple of things that we know we do well around the set piece, around the scrum, around the line out, uh, around our tight play and um, you know we like to think that we do that consistently well and we, we practice it during the week. You know, there's no week that goes where we don't focus on that sort of stuff so um, I think the challenge for teams we'd like to think would be combating what we do well, our strengths. Um, we sort of have a unique style of playing in terms of the forwards and I think it's a matter of other teams coming out with their own style as well and seeing, seeing which one comes out best in the end. Finally, you would have done a bit of homework on Worcester this week. What sort of threat do they pose? Yeah, look, they're, like I said they're, earlier, they're, they're a good team. You, you don't put 40-odd points on, on Leicester away from home if you, you can't score points. Um, obviously, Hogarth at nine is a threat around the base. Um, you know, they've got a good, strong pack. Uh, and you know they play quite a positive style of rugby. They like to move the ball, um, so they're going to challenge us defensively. So that sort of fits us in the sense that we want that's an area we want to work on. So they get... I imagine if it's, it's weather like this, they're going to come down here with the intention to, to play rugby and not, not try and not lose, but actually go out and win it. So that's probably going to be the biggest threat. So we're going, to, we're going to have to start fast and nice and physical and keep the pace of the game nice and high throughout. 